I think that it's incredibly beneficial to be a woman in the sense that you represent less of a threat in these worlds. We're heading to meet the owner of a drug operation. Do you have a phone? I do. I'd like to have it. What's happening? There was one situation, for example, in Mexico, where we were trying to get access to this gun trafficking operation, access that had never been given before. We're thinking of taking our cameras and robbing them. Thing, of course. I don't know how to feel about this. The boss of that region said that the only way that he would give us access was that first he wanted to meet with me, just me, no one else in my team. So it was at night, it was close to midnight, and I remember, you know, having to leave the hotel to go meet with this guy. There was a lot of decisions about whether this was a good idea, whether I should be taking a tracking device with me, or their fear is that we're law enforcement, so if they were to open up my bag and see a tracking device or a satellite phone, they would immediately think that I'm the DEA or the FBI. So there's a lot of sort of going back and forth about what's the right reason. And because at the end of the day, no story is worth your life. But in the end, we decided that there was a certain level of protection there. And so I went by myself and I got there and he was smoking a cigarette as usual. So to break the ice, the first thing I did was I asked him for a cigarette too and we started talking. And usually what happens in these cases, I think especially because I'm a woman, is that they open up um, very easily. Tonight. <laughs> he just asked me if I was a buyer. In this case, he actually didn't. He was very suspicious from the start. He said there was no way that he could trust me. I even showed him all my photos of my past work and videos, and he said that could all be made up. And in the end, I thought there's no way this is happening. Went back to the hotel the next morning, early morning, I get a text with some GPS coordinates, and he said, okay, meet me here at this time. And the next morning, we got access to all of it. But as we're filming and we're seeing this trade of guns, he basically was selling guns to somebody else, and we saw it all live happening right there. And I asked him, so yesterday, you were absolutely sure I was law enforcement. Did you give me this access because now you believe I'm a journalist? And he said, no, I still, I'm not sure you're a journalist, but I will tell you one thing. If you are the DEA or the FBI, we've got men all around you, and uh, you are not going to get out of here alive. Can you tell me why now you have confidence in me? I don't have confidence. No, we're just saying that what's happening. We don't want to leave.